So I've heard it said that people who have autism are unable to experience empathy with other people and have any empathy with their emotions, but I believe that it's not true. And I'm gonna share with you today a story from when my son was a child, something that he did that definitely illustrates empathy. <laughs> My name is Dawn Dickinson and the channel is about living your best life. So uh, about 20 years ago, in fact, exactly 20 years ago, my son was four years old. My daughter was two. My son has been diagnosed with high functioning autism since he was a child. He is verbal and very intelligent, but he does have a hard time relating to other people. So what happened is 20 years ago, my father, who I thought was the picture of health, passed away unexpectedly, just had a heart attack and died one day. When I was 40, he was 64 and my child was four. I was completely not expecting this and I had been very close to my father. And so this was very difficult for me and I cried a lot. In fact, the first couple of weeks my father was gone, I probably uh, cried every waking moment. Anyhow, my son was four and was observing this and felt bad for his mom. And one day I'm on the couch and I'm trying not to cry too much in front of the kids because I know it's not good for them. But my boy comes up and he had gone to the refrigerator to the ice maker and he comes back with a handful of ice and he goes, mommy, this is for you. And I'm like, well, what, honey? Why, why do you want to give me ice? And he says, well, mommy, uh, ice makes a boo-boo feel better. So you have a boo-boo because I'm crying, right? You have a boo-boo. I want you to take this ice and feel better. And I was like, whoa. Of course, I was so distraught. It was hard for me to process it. But even at that time, I was like, wow, uh, would be difficult for me to see a normal four-year-old think of that, make the connection of me being sad and crying with what I do to him when he's sad and crying, probably because he hurt his foot or something. I bring him a handful of ice. So uh, the fact that he was able to make that connection shows me that uh, probably empathy is not the problem. It's finding out how to express the emotions, to understand what the emotions are, and to help people with the emotions. But I think in this particular case, um, it shows that he has a great deal of empathy. And I know even now that he is an adult, he's 24 years old, sometimes he definitely has problems with the emotional and sometimes he does react uh, very childlike in his emotions, like maybe, uh, you know, that of an eight-year-old. But then later, if he has, you know, been mad and said something mean, for instance, I can tell he feels bad and he tries to make amends. So anything you hear about uh, autistic people either not having emotions or not being able to have empathy with other people, I don't believe that's true just based on my own experience. My name is Dawn Dickinson. If you like the video, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Um, I subscribe to the channel if you want. I post videos by improving and having your best life, usually for uh, Gen X and baby boomers. But again, some of the content is relevant, relevant to everyone.